We get a glimpse of a 21st century classroom. Now we're looking at the internal anatomy of this grass frog. And visit the Citadel of Free Speech this week on the Senate Report. Technology is changing the way we educate our kids. And this week, some items that we might see in the classroom of the future were on display here at the State House. And bile gets stored in its own little pouch. Senator Peggy Lehner, chair of the Education Committee, toured the Active Bus, a traveling showcase of interactive hardware, software, and digital content. Technology is going to enable us to personalize the classroom experience so the, the child that's further ahead than his peers can move ahead and the one who needs some extra work um, can work at their own pace and technology is going to give us that ability. Some current Ohio students took their study of government pretty seriously and this week their hard work and determination paid off as Governor John Kasich signed a bill designating the Adena Pipe as the official state artifact. The Adena Pipe is a 2,000 year old Native American stone pipe. It was found in a burial ground near Chillicothe back in 1901. Some fourth graders at the Columbus School for Girls originally proposed the pipe for official artifact status in 2009. Since then, subsequent fourth grade classes promoted the legislation as part of their government class. They did an incredible job. Um, they knew they were persistent. They didn't take no for an answer and they got the bill passed. State Senator Bob Peterson held a special committee hearing this week to learn more about the toxic algae problem that's facing Ohio's lakes. Toxic algae is common in most Ohio lakes and it grows thick during the hot summer months. Blooms of algae can create oxygen depleted zones where nothing can live. It also can sicken swimmers and kill pets and wildlife. We've been here before. Uh, we, we recovered this lake uh, in, the, in the 80s and 90s. It was in horrible condition in the early 70s. But in the 70s, 80s, we recovered the lake, um, sort of reached a great point in the 90s where it was very healthy. Uh, unfortunately, over the last uh, 10 years, 10, 15 years, we've gone backwards. Uh, the phosphorus loading has increased, and we've seen algae growth and, and the challenges that creates. Finally this week, for more than 100 years, the City Club of Cleveland has been offering a platform for the free exchange of thought. This week, Senate President Keith Faber was the special guest at this Citadel of Free Speech to talk about the state budget. In the Senate, we have been laser focused on job creation and economic development. If you look at what we've been doing, our Senate Bill 1 and all of the other bills we've been passing have been focused on things that will grow jobs and strengthen the economy. And that's where we're going to go with this budget. You can keep up to date with what's going on with the state budget by visiting our website, ohiosenate.gov slash budget. Read the current version of the bill, follow testimony, or submit your own thoughts on the state budget. That's at ohiosenate.gov slash budget. That's it for this week. As always, you can keep up to date with us on our social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Ohio Senate GOP, or visit our website, ohiosenate.gov slash republicans. Thanks for watching.